Hey, hey, welcome back. It's, uh, we're drawing Hi. to the close of hour two of the first uh, Liquid Lunch Money Monday in the newer studios right here in downtown Manhattan. We're at uh, 350 Broadway, right at the epicenter of New York City, across the street from uh, City Hall. And uh, joining me again is uh, my co-host, Frank Morano. Frankie, good morning. Good morning. Well, good, good afternoon. afternoon. For those in, of you in the East, that's going to be in the wrap-up. Right. But uh, joining us today on Skype, uh, Grace Morgan is with us, and she's the uh, Director of External Affairs for Taxpayers Protection Alliance. Grace, thanks for uh, sticking with us today and um, moving back into hour two. But uh, a lot going on out there. Mainly, um, we have these new vaping bans and regulations. What's happening with this stuff? Sure. So we are seeing vaping bans hit many different cities and states across the country. Uh, we saw this happen in San Francisco, now Michigan, potentially New York. Um, and, you know, President Trump a few weeks ago had a White House meeting where he said that they were looking towards banning flavored vaping products across the country. So we are rightfully concerned that vapors across the country are going to turn back to traditional cigarettes. And, you know, these flavor flavor bans are not going to ha help children quit smoking vaping products. They're not going to help um, smokers get off of smoking traditional cigarettes if we ban these flavored products. So, Grace, my question is, in terms of what the Trump administration is planning at this point, do we know for a fact exactly what they're planning on doing? Is it a ban on flavored vapes like they just instituted here in New York? And when will that begin to be instituted? Sure. So Secretary uh, Azar has said that the uh, Department of Health and Human Services is working on uh, banning flavored vaping products. So that would include um, mint products as well, which Juul has on the market now. It would basically wipe all flavored cartridges and vape juices off the market, replacing them with only tobacco products. But a lot of traditional vapors across the country use these flavored vape products such as mango or cream, anything like that, to switch off of smoking traditional cigarettes. So uh, we think that banning these flavored products is going to put millions of vape vapors' lives at risk because they might slip back into the cycle of smoking uh, traditional cigarettes, which is not, not a healthy, uh, safer alternative. Wow. So um, I've been saying for a while that, uh, you know, while there are a couple of hundred, two, three hundred cases that we know of where people have gotten related illnesses from vaping or allegedly um, fifteen hundred people died yesterday from smoking cigarettes and the government doesn't do a thing about it. I think this is the tobacco lobby at work. And lo and behold, the only flavor of vape juice that they're not banning is tobacco related. So get rid of the vapes if they're not using tobacco. Um, and if we still got to let a few vapes hang around, they got to use tobacco. Exactly. And so in terms of banning the tobacco products, uh, restricting flavors isn't going to help the smokers. It's just going to, you know, like I said, push them back towards traditional cigarettes. And you know, this is also going to impact a lot of small businesses across the country. Uh, we've heard from a lot of different small business vape shops that are saying, if these flavor plans are enacted, we're going to have to close up shop and look for work elsewhere, which, which is not a great alternative. And so we're disheartened by the Trump administration's push, but um, we are hopeful that, you know, with enough manpower and our, using our voices, we can get the, our, our message out there. And Grace, I read this morning that in part because of all the people that, ten, that uh, may lose a job because of this, or in, in some cases a whole business, that uh, President Trump is getting a lot of pushback from the right. And the, the anti-ban people are so much more vocal and so much more prominent than the people that support a ban on uh, flavored e-cigs. Is that what you're seeing? As well. So in the United States, there are around 11 million adult vapors, and these are the vapors that can vote. And a lot of them are single issue voters where this has been their livelihood or this has helped them regain uh, control of their lives. Uh, so we're going to see in tr states like Michigan, uh, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, there are a lot of vapors in these states, and these are states that Trump won by a pretty narrow margin, and this could really impact them going forward. So uh, you think Trump might actually have to uh, dip into Vapor Nation to get reelected? 
<laughs> I don't know if he has to dip into Vapor Nation. I think that the what they're concerned about is just leaving them alone. Uh, they just want to vape, vape products, and they want to be able to do it peacefully. And by taking away someone's livelihood or their, their access to sm stop smoking traditional cigarettes, uh, this is really an issue that they care about. And, it's, and by taking away someone's livelihood or their, their access to sm stop smoking traditional cigarettes, uh, this is really an issue that they care about and it's putting their lives in danger. Uh, so the push against flavored vaping products is really going to impact voters across the country. And we're hearing from a lot of different uh, vapors across the country saying that they will vote uh, with a candidate that does not support vaping. So I don't think Trump has to really dip into vape nation. I think he just has to say, you know, we have to balance, you know, getting these vapes out of kids' hands while also making sure that adults have a safer alternative. Well, amen to that. And I think if we enforce the uh, laws we have on the books for younger kids um, getting their hands on these products, we'd be in a lot better place than ban banning uh, commerce. So you're watching Liquid Lunch. That's uh, everything you need to know about uh, vaping and who's behind these vaping bans. We're going to take a quick break, and Frankie's going to tell you everything you need to know about the mistakes I made in today's show.